Hey guys, in this problem we have a wire with a length that is given to us, and it's in a, in a magnetic field, and we're given the strength of that magnetic field. We're also told about the maximum force on the wire, and we're asked about how much current is flowing through that wire. Now the one part of this problem that might be a little confusing, that might throw you for a loop, is this whole maximum force thing. What that's basically referring to is, remember that the formula for the magnetic force on a wire is equal to the current multiplied by the length of the wire, multiplied by the strength of the magnetic field, multiplied by the sine of the angle between, the angle between the wire and the field. When we talk about the force being maximized or minimizing, we're specifically referring to this sign term right here, because the force is, ma is maximized when theta is, is equal to 90 degrees, when they're perpendicular, because then the whole sign term becomes 1, and it can't be any higher than that. So the maximum force is just equal to the current multiplied by the length multiplied by the magnetic field strength. We can just not even include the sign term if we want, because it's just equal to 1, and 1 times anything is just itself. So that's what's going on there. But also, the problem's asking us to find the current, so we're going to need to rewrite this equation to solve it for i. So we can do that pretty simply by dividing both sides of the equation by Lb, so f sub max, divided by the length of the wire, divided by its strength, now all that's left for us to do is just plug our numbers in. So the maximum strength is 0.625 newtons. And then divided by the length of the wire, so 4.8 meters. Then the, the magnetic field strength, which is 0 0.08 teslas. And if you put this into a calculator, then we find a current of about 1.63 amperes. And so that is our answer to this problem. And that's it for this video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that'll help me out in making more videos like this. And if you have a question, leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. Um, that's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.